This is Openly Hostile Opinions with your hosts, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to do anytime I want to. Now we're looking at evil guys. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. It is another beautiful Thursday morning and I am Jay. That is Casey. Hello everyone, how's it going? And this is Openly Hostile Opinions. Yes it is. How's everyone doing? Great. I wish we had an audience. Yeah, I That would know. be great. I how's know. everybody doing? <laughs> Throw tomatoes at us. You suck! <laughs> you sons of bitches! Oh man. Ah, Lovely long. slurp sound there. Yeah, I know. God, you're, you're fucking, you're fucking horrid on that mic, you know, just like, <laughs> fucking eat the microphone. <laughs> All right, so uh, today I, I, I got us a really cool beer. Uh, I want to do, uh, I bought it solely for the fucking label because I'm, I'm an idiot for marketing like that. Uh, it's it's so called. Funny. Here, let's uh, take a look at that label. It's a Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery. It's a Smash Bomb Atomic IPA. A brewer gone mad in his newest and most daring beer. I, I bought it just because I think it looks like an old 50s horror movie. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. That's right. It reminds me of like a Rob Zombie like music video or something like that. It's uh, like Mars Attacks or some shit. Uh, I love it. Uh, this one's a, a pretty strong one, too. It's 6% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Whoa, damn. Ooh. That is hoppy as fuck. That's a really strong IPA. Really strong IPA. Ooh, they ain't fucking around. Oh, man. I, I mean, if there's malt in there, there's like a, a, a drop of it. <laughs> it's mostly hopped out the wazoo. I love it, though. I think it's fucking delicious. <laughs> this, is the kind of, this is the kind of hoppy beer that just sucks all the moisture out of your yeah. mouth. <laughs> Glad we got some water this time around. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, man. I do like it, though. I think it's really fucking good. It's good. It's got that puckering citrus going. I'm not a big hop head. I mean, I like hop, but uh -huh. I'm not I, I'm not as crazy about it as some people. Yeah, if, if you really like hops, I definitely suggest trying this. It is fucking really, really hoppy. And like the thing, like you said, it just sucks all the moisture out of your fucking mouth. Oh, my God. I need to fucking drink piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like fucking, it's citrusy, it's floral. I mean, I'm not getting very much malt out of it at all. I believe there's some there, but uh, and, and I can't tell if it's the hops or there is a, like a really strong like grapefruit taste. Yeah, that's the hops. Yeah, it tastes like you're drinking sort of grapefruit juice a little bit there. It, it's really not good though. I I fucking really like it. I wouldn't say it's a fiver. Wouldn't say it's a fiver. All right. So what are we rating it? I am gonna give it four and a half out of five comb overs. <laughs> I'll go four comb overs. Four. I, I I'm not as huge of a hop fan as you are. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I am. I love it. But I IPAs get me into trouble. I I could drink an IPA and then drink like Budweiser the rest of the night. I'd be fucking tanked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I remember one time I was at a bar and I had like two IPAs and I just started drinking you know normal beer after that. I, at the end of the night I was like putting fucking cigarettes out on the table because I thought there was an ashtray there and shit. It was. Oh. Probably one of them places you're not even allowed to smoke inside. You're no, just doing it anyway. Yeah, I don't actually I don't remember. We won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that's really good. Yeah. After just got fucking raped by a grapefruit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of stories do you have for us today, Jay? <laughs> Alright, I'm excited about this one. Oh good. Lover gets stuck inside married mistress while having sex after her husband asked a witch doctor to curse her genitals. <laughs> what? That, that, that uh, headline is a fucking mouthful. Yeah, holy fuck, man. Hooked on phonics works for me. <laughs> All right, so, so this is great. And there's even pictures, so let me go ahead and pull those up. This is the exact moment when uh, a lover got stuck inside his married mistress. Uh, they, they became locked together. So this happened in Kenya. Uh, while the husband was away on a business trip. I know, honey, yeah. Sorry, I thought of, I thought of Lion King music. <laughs> God. 
Uh, so unable to control the pain that came with the embarrassing situation, both let out yells that attracted a neighbor. So one of the neighbors took a picture of this with her cell phone, I guess. I didn't know they had cell phones in Kenya. Apparently, I'm a racist piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, damn. What the, why the fuck would you take a picture, you dick? Look at this shit. They had to carry him the fuck out. How do you get stuck in her, though? Well, the, the witch doctor, man. Well, well, was he living in her vagina? I guess. <laughs> and he was waiting for him to like come on. He's like, I got your dick. <laughs> uh, a crowd milled around. Okay, so it was reported by local media that the woman's husband, suspecting she was treated, cheating, secretly gave her a concoction prepared by a witch doctor. Uh, oh, it, it, it was designed to have the effect of making the lovers inseparable and proving their guilt. Uh, however, there's other suggestion that it could be a medical condition that caused the incident. But I got to say, that's pretty fucking uh, convenient that there's some medical condition he does this when guy a guy goes into a There's a, a witch medical doctor. condition that gets you stuck with a woman? I, I thought that was just called marriage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ouch. Uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Dab. <laughs> All right, now here's what here's where it gets fucking awesome. Not only does this happen, but the witch doctor who who uh, the, the the witch doctor who prepared the, the, uh-huh. the concoction said he could take it off, but uh, the the married man or the 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 not the married man the uh, the the other guy the guy who is who's fucking the married woman uh-huh. would have to pay a fine to him. So he, he locks you, locks you in mid coitus, and the oh to my pay god, he's like five voodoo coins, please. <laughs> it's probably like some made up currency or something like that. Five dead chickens in oh a fucking god. puka shell. See, this scares me, but there's a medical condition now. Like, what grabs your dick? Yeah, it's called angry vagina. <laughs> I thought that was normal. <laughs> the trash isn't taken out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you people thought uh, you, you thought that marriage was uh, was the way to lock him down, you know, or having a kid. That's uh, the women are like, damn. I thought I had to get pregnant to lock down my man. It turns out all I got to do is talk to a witch doctor. Yeah, holy... F- I like that fucking, fucking... lock him down in my... I like f- that picture, though, within that red... He looks like some fucking dark Sith Lord, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, here. Let me go back to that. This, oh, is, the, this is the witch doctor right here in the, oh. in the red... He looks so fucking evil. <laughs> I love it, dude. That... Fuck it. He he he'd be the kind of guy to walk up to uh, Kylo Ren and be like, "Damn it, Adam Driver, you're being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Put your fucking helmet back on. You're being a baby back bitch. I, I fucking oh man, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what the medical condition is that can, because that's what you said, right? There's a medical condition that can actually make this happen. That's uh, something we might have to fucking cover later, at like another time, because that is fucking insane. Like, I don't want to have sex now. <laughs> like, I don't want to scream for my neighbors. Like, how do you explain that? I, I Like, in Africa, it's normal. But like, they would walk in and be like, what the fuck? At Voodoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I love the name. Oh, my God. I love the name. Penis Captivus. Oh, my God. It's a real thing. I don't... Oh, man. I don't want to... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. We shouldn't be telling about this. Now women are going to try to do it. It's called penis captivus. It's a rare occurrence in intercourse when the muscles of the vagina clamp down on the penis much more firmly than usual. Oh, my a God. A form of vaginismus. <laughs> what? Making it impossible for the penis to withdraw from the vagina. And according to a 1979 article in British Medical Journal, the condition was unknown in the 20th century, but a subsequent letter to the same journal... Reported apparent case of penis captivus as early as 1947. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I, I, the name. The name is the best. Penis captivus. God, first they get you a child support. Now they just grab you by the dick. <laughs> <laughs> they only have to use their hands. Grab you by the unit. I'm oh, still bringing dude. it back. Yeah, I forgot about that. God damn. Still, oh my still God. bringing back a unit. Oh, man. That is so fucking weird. <laughs> dude, that sounds like a metal band's name. Oh, Sounds dude. like a black metal penis band. Penis Captivist. Penis Captivist. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually... <laughs> it looks like we should... That's the kind of label it should be, too. Like that neon, you know, fucking bullshit. Uh, uh, you gotta be that writing that looks like a bunch of tangled vines. Because yeah. the, the less legible it is, the more metal it is. I know. I wonder who was the first guy to think of that. Like, he was just doing gardening, and he's like, fuck, we gotta come up with a band name. And he's like, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, figured it out. Oh, fucking man. Fucking figured it out. I, I hope, like, pe- women don't, like, find out how to actually do this. Like, they can, like, buy little weights for the vagina to lift and be like... <sighs> fucking kegel exercise. Yeah. But I gotta catch that dick. <laughs> oh, that's God. fucking weird. Oh, God. I don't want to have sex anymore. 
Sex robots. When are they coming out? <laughs> the, the, the more people who watch this show and realize what you're really like, the less chance you're going to have of having sex anymore. Oh, that's all right. Sex robots, man. And I heard that some girl... We'll, we'll cover this later because we've been covering the sex robots a lot lately. So we'll give it a little break. But I guess some girl tried it out for the first time. She rates it and everything. So we're going to cover that in a future episode. <laughs> Dude, is it like a jackhammer dick? <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Is it pole start? Like... <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, man. The worst, the worst invention for men ever was the fucking vibrator. Because no matter oh, how yeah. hard I try, I cannot make my dick vibrate. I might get it to shake a little. I know. I mean, if I have enough coffee, there might be a wiggle. <laughs> and and they say, oh, you know, porn ruins it, you know, for women and stuff because they men set standards and shit. I'm like, I can't make my dick wiggle like that. Well, Holy the only fuck. thing I know porn did for for men is, is made the shaved vagina a thing, and thank God for that. Oh yeah, getting carpet burn on your tongue. Is no joke. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. There is nothing worse than uh, than unzipping a un, uh, unzipping a crotch there and fucking feeling like you need a goddamn uh, machete to to traverse through the jungle. Yeah. Oh my god. I know they call it a panty hamster, but Jesus, too much hair is too much hair. Holy yeah, it's fuck. a panty hamster, not a panty fucking Chewbacca. <laughs> I mean, I if you if you keep it trimmed, you know that's one thing. But I mean, I've seen like that '70s bush where it's like, yeah, it's not just like fucking bush right right on top there. It's like creeping down into the thigh I know, it's crevices. Going down on the leg, like, and then you go down a little farther, there's like cankle hair, and you're like, is that the pubes? When does it stop? Yeah, when does the pubes stop <laughs> yeah. and the fucking ankle hair begin? It's like a never ending like pube forest. <laughs> and I'm not saying I look good naked. God knows. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I got a set of bitch tits and. <laughs> You know, and, and, and even worse, you know, we're guys. Our dick is not even the same color as the rest of us. I know. It's literally I, like God had leftover parts when he was making us. Like, you know what? I'm just going to put these right here. Yeah, it's just like, oh, it's it, it's like when you play with Play-Doh and there's all that Play-Doh that got mixed. Yeah. And it's yeah, a different yeah. color. Different color. Yeah, that, that was on God's table. And he's just like, oh, fuck it. I might as well use this shit. I mean, there's like a seam running down it. It's a different <laughs> color than the rest of you. I, I mean, it literally looks like the leftovers. It just got stuck on. Eh, yeah. Let's just put this here. Leftover Play-Doh. Leftover I, Play-Doh. You know, and that's that's why I question some of this shit. You know, the intelligent design thing. Because you know what? Why would you put the most sensitive part of, of a man's body on the outside, swinging between the legs, just waiting to get tapped? <laughs> like, I understand heat's a factor. But, you know, if you're the all, all-knowing all creator, here's a thought. Don't make heat a factor. I know, and it's like a, like the old saying or whatever. Like for a woman, they put the butt, you know, right next to the vagina, and the, and the saying is, "Why put the playground, you know, that close to the sewage system?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women have like a just one crack that runs the whole way down, you know. Oh, and I I don't know why this reminds me of that, but I used to work with a girl, and she was so quiet. So quiet, sweet. You know, I was married, had kids and stuff like that. We were sitting there smoking, just talking stuff. And she's like, she's like, oh, yeah. Uh, when I had my first kid, just brings us out of the blue. Like, you know, penis convoitist or whatever the fuck it was me. <laughs> we're going to use that as a verb. And goes, yeah, when I had my first kid, uh, I repped all the way from my vagina to my butthole. I'm like, what? I dropped my cigarette. I was like, what? Like, I pictured this girl was so nice. I pictured her like being a nun in her off time. And I was like, that happens <laughs> during childbirth? Holy shit. You know, I don't know what it is about you, but you just bring out the dirty in women. I do. Uh, you do. <laughs> you, you... <laughs> but I didn't even say anything. We were just smoking. We were talking about work or something. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> and she just, like, brought it out of nowhere. I was like, where did this come from? Holy shit. Yeah, here's a here's a brief story. Now, I wouldn't try to change anything because I love my life and I love my wife and I love my kids, but... Uh, back in high school, there was uh, uh, this girl that I wanted to fuck so bad <laughs> back in the day. And uh, she was just, like, high on my list. I don't know what it was about her, but I, I just wanted this chick so bad. And, and later on down the road, after high school was over a few years past, this asshole right here ends up working with her. And, like, oh, the first day... I didn't know this she, was she had She was such a, playing such the sweet little innocent fucking girl... <laughs> You know, like, oh, I can never do that. I can. I don't want to have a relationship with a boy. Oh no, well, this Ew, boys. this fucking ass. A couple of years later, ends up working with her completely unbeknownst to me. I had no idea. He starts working with her, and she tries to jump his fucking bones the first fucking five minutes. Tell dude, tell a story, dude. It was so don't weird. say the name. Oh, I won't. I won't, dude. Trust me, I'm not going to. But I worked in a place where I was the only guy, and 
fucking just all the women were like the horniest women I've ever fucking met in my life. And I'm standing there and I'm like, I'm not even good looking. <laughs> Imagine if like a really good looking guy worked with all these women. He'd be fucking dead. Like we had this, <laughs> I think she was in her 70s even. She used to just grab my dick. Like I'm not even joking. I'd get there. I'd be there for five minutes. And I caught on because she'd be like, oh, hey, how's it going? And she'd go to hug me and she'd be like, boop. She booped me. <laughs> she booped your dick. She booped me. And like the first time there. You I, got women screaming about uh, sexual harassment and they just fucking grab your dick. Yeah, for no I reason. was like, okay, uh, what the, I worked with a prostitute. Um, Wait a minute, why the hell was she working if she was a prostitute? She obviously wasn't a very good one. Oh, she didn't make enough money. She even, that's another funny story. She, she was so pissed one night and she was like pissed at work, throwing fucking shit everywhere and stuff. And I'm like, what's wrong? She's like, I got to call the cops last night. This guy got pissed and stole my laundry basket full of dildos. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> she has a laundry basket full yeah, of dildos? Yeah, dude, I just... <laughs> and, my God. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing, dude. I just... It was the weirdest job. Dude, it was so much fun. I met some really cool people there, but it was the weirdest fucking job. Uh, wait, 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 wait a second. We're going to get back to the story, but we need to have a little aside. A laundry basket full of dildos? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. You could fucking... It'd be like fucking a warm bowl of soup. <laughs> I know. Twirl a cane and a hello, my baby. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like fucking pea soup. There'd be no friction. Yeah, and, and she had a... Oh my God. She had a tattoo of a bee on her tits as a booby. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, man. I just... I, Did one of them have a ghost on the other side? <laughs> ghost and a bee? <laughs> booby. Oh, man. That's so... And it's just... And I remember I was sitting there one day on the counter, and she walks over, and she's like, hey, how's it going? I was like, oh, just waiting to fucking get off work. And she comes over, puts her hands on my legs, and was like, do you want to get off after work, really? I'm going to take you home one of these nights, and you're not going to have a choice. Like, Is that the one? It was the prostitute. Oh, I was going to say. This wasn't so. the girl that you had a crush on in high school. No, 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 no. This, I was, was going to say, I didn't hear that story. That cuts me deep, man. <laughs> oh, dude, there was so much, dude. There was so much fucking crazy shit that went on. They used to take me out um, drinking and stuff like that and buy me shots to get me drunk to try to sleep with, like, bartenders and shit. And I'm just like, dude, it was – and, and that's what they say, that men are sexual predators. No, no. You work with, you work with some fucking straight-up rapists. Yeah, it was bad, <laughs> dude. It was really bad. It was fucking crazy. And like and like you were saying, like the first day, they, they were just all joking about doing stuff with me. Yeah, and, including including the one I wanted so bad. Yeah, they're like, hey, do you want to, you know, go over here and stuff like that? And I'm like, is this fucking real life? Like, what is going yeah, did, on? Yeah, didn't she say she wanted to take you, like, in the walk-in or something? Yeah, there was a walk-in cooler there, and she's like, hey, so you want to go to cooler? was like nudging me, and I'm like, uh, I've been here for five minutes. Like, usually you have to watch a presentation video or something. <laughs> like, this is, I guess we just jump right yeah, in. Yeah, one, one of those videos <laughs> on why uh, why unions are terrible for you. And <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was the first fucking thing. They were like, unions are bad. If you see any of them, don't fucking... Oh, man. Yeah, you know, because uh, having representation is terrible. Yeah. But, you know, I, I mean, this has happened to you on more than a couple occasions. I don't mean to sidetrack too much here, but, uh, yeah, <sighs> I remember another chick who, who basically just... Uh, who climbed into bed with Casey, and, and this chick could have, like been a linebacker for the Steelers. <coughs> she had broader shoulders than I do. She's probably about six two. She had a fucking pixie cut haircut and, and like uh, you know what she looked like? Do you ever see those guys those little islander guys who tried to steal steal uh, olive oil from Popeye? <laughs> she looked like one of them. And she climbs into bed with Casey and says I heard you have a big dick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? I want to feel it inside of me. I remember being like passed out in a fucking coma too, and I woke up and I was like, "What the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> and like, this is like right before I mean, caveman style. Oh, come with, come with Clerg. <laughs> oh man, it was so bad. And then like, Clerg, fuck little man. <laughs> and before that, when I, you know, was still sober and remembered, like my one friend ate a Dorito off her nipple. <laughs> like I remember that for some fucking reason. And, oh, man, I just, I don't know. I have bad experiences with women, dude. I just really fucking do. I mean, she she was straight up caveman style. Yeah. Erg, want little man. Erg, take little man. Yeah. Erg, I, break little man. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> holy fuck Arnold Schwarzenegger. Calm <laughs> down. Her fucking man hands, too. Oh, she had, like, the biggest man hands. Oh, man, I'm getting, um, I'm getting fucking, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> she, 
<laughs> I just, dude, I just. God, she wanted to take you. I and know. you know what? If she, uh, if she didn't want you that bad because if she really did, she'd just thrown you all over, her, over her shoulder and took uh, you. Dude, I, I know. And that actually almost happened one time. <laughs> what about the other chick who, who who just took you, whether you liked it or not? On, on uh, the hood of a car, I believe? No. Oh, just, you didn't even have an option. You were just made to do it. No, I was thinking about the time I got jerked off in a bar while I was Oh, good. yeah. That one, too. <laughs> and you guys wonder why I say he's just that. Uh, he, 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 he's ridiculous. Dude, this he is, pulls more bitches than... No, than this it, isn't it, cool. This isn't cool at all, <laughs> dude. This is this is why I'm... I, I, have trust issues <laughs> that and then i found out in ice cream commercials they actually use mashed potatoes <laughs> yeah so they don't melt but... <laughs> yeah, this is why well, i, I mean what, the, the 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 jerked off in the bathroom eh? i mean he was in the bathroom puking because <laughs> he had drank way too much and she just crawls in behind they're like the, the, this this woman if we really want to use the term at this point he oh, crawls my. in and just like grabs his dick and starts jerking. And I'm asking for help and no one's helped me. They're just snapping <laughs> pictures and shit. I'm like, this is fucked up. And this is before I even lived out here. And I was like, I, I still lived far away at the time. And I came out here and it was the first night I drank. I remember just slamming pictures of beer. And this girl was talking to me and she kept buying me shots. And I'm like, wow, this is a really nice girl. I'm all young and innocent. I'm like, oh, oh young and innocent. <laughs> Listen to this fucking guy. And I'm like, oh, people are really nice here. Little did I know I was getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is. You just attract rapists. Yeah, I wouldn't call it attract. Uh, it's just, it's, oh my God. You infatuate I, rapists. I, I don't know what the fuck it was. And I just, I remember sitting there. I know what there, the fuck it was. You got touched. I remember <laughs> sitting like there. Or not. I remember sitting there puking and I feel my belt get looser. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is fucking with my belt? And I can't. And like, oh my god, that's impressive. I know. She managed to undo your belt. Oh, I was trying to scream for help, but I couldn't because I had puke coming out of my mouth. I'm like, someone uh, help! <laughs> and then finally, someone heard me because it sounded like a deaf guy fucking an animal. And <laughs> I'm just like, oh man, ungrateful. <laughs> and I just remember, like, this is the first time, like, I was drinking out here, and I'm like, holy fuck, the women are like the men out here. Like the women out here buy I, shots for men. I have never, I have never in my entire life had an experience like oh, this. Dude. I've never wonder... had, I've never had trouble getting women. Like I, I've, I've managed to do well in that department, but I've never I, had any of them try to rape me. I, yeah, I don't know, dude. And that's what I'm saying. Like you want to know, I have such a negative outlook on things. I've seen some shit, dude. You, get, <laughs> you, you walk it and fall into vagina. Uh, just, yeah. I mean, I know people that it could be raining, it raining vagina, and they get smacked with a dick, and you, <laughs> and you step outside your house, and it's just puss uh, in your face. I just, I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't know, dude. I wouldn't Hell, call I it. I like that. you. You can come over to my <laughs> house. I wouldn't call and fuck it that. My sister. I would, I, I would just call it. I, I. I'm weak boned. <laughs> so I just weak boned. I, I'm pale. Sounds like you've been doing plenty of boned. Yeah. And it looks like I have cancer. So I think they're just like, oh, I can, that kid can't beat me up. <laughs> I'm going to rape him. <laughs> I mean, it's just the, the sheer amount of, uh, of seminal fluids that you've spilled in, in, in people that, that, that took advantage of you are, are beyond me. I just, I don't know. I, I have a negative outlook on things, and I just, I've seen some shit. <laughs> I just, I don't you know. You got PTSD from all the vagina that gets thrust into your way. But see, you know, you have a problem that most men would be like, ah, that's a problem I'd like to have. Dude, it's, it's no, it, and see, that's the thing. I even, I wouldn't even call it pulling bitches. Like, I've never seen it from that point of view until we start talking about it. But it's just... I'm just it's it's not fun. I mean, <laughs> like not, I said, you dude. just can fall into vagina. It's you can be fun. walking down the street and <laughs> boom, vagina. It's, well, fuck. How the hell did that happen? It's damaging. It's damaging. You just take two steps out of your house, fucking. <laughs> you know, like most people, they trip on the sidewalk, start running, so they don't look silly. You you do you trip, fall right into vagina. Ah, uh, yeah, I just can't help it. I just, it's just, I don't know what the fuck it is, dude. And it's, and it's not falling it's never in the vagina. Women it's, either. I know, and that's what I'm. It's not falling in the vagina. It's falling in the rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, they, they, you know, how do we even start talking about this? <laughs> I don't know, but it's fucking entertaining. I guess. Oh man, whatever. That's that's why I love these stories, man. You just, you, you just attract this kind of insanity yeah i know dude and i just I, that's why i drink <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta you gotta quelch the pain yeah just gotta take care of the pain somehow world of warcraft doesn't do it enough so <laughs> you gotta numb the brain some some other how oh, some other how yeah some other how words are hard i know i just 
I didn't even, I didn't even, I don't know. I didn't even want to talk about this. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> you know how, you know the rules. There's no, there's no fucking hiding secrets on this I show. know. Um, we won't say the names of those who are involved yeah. because that would be incredibly embarrassing I just them. don't know how we Even though some of them are fucking criminal rapists, you <laughs> yeah, should probably be embarrassed. And that's the thing, like, since I didn't turn myself in, is it still rape? <laughs> well, you're getting into a whole nother situation. Yeah, I know. Oh, God, the feminists. <laughs> the feminists are going to be breaking down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like any more... Uh, I don't mean to do to uh, marginalize rape victims, because that's not what I'm about here, but no. I'm going to tell you this much. You, you can't make a poor decision and feel bad about it later and call it rape. And that's what people do. I know, and I see that a lot more. Like, there's a guy that lives around here. He spent a year in jail before they could prove that... And it actually wasn't even proved. They proved it. It's just how, that's how slow the system worked. He spent a year in jail for a girl that just, I don't know, she didn't say hi to him. It was something really stupid. Like, she didn't say hi to him in the store, so she made up this fake rape thing to get back at him. Or he said hi to her in the store? No, like, it was something stupid like that. I'm using that as an example, but it was something really stupid that he pissed her off. So she just made up this fake, and he spent oh. a year in jail. A whole year. Well, it's, it's a tough situation to dance around because... I know. You don't want to. I mean, anybody who goes through a rape, it's got to be one of the most devastating oh, things yeah. in their life. And you I've know, been through it, like six. <laughs> That's a chick. Oh Jesus! <laughs> anyway, you know, somebody who goes through rape, it's got to be one of the most devastating situations in their life. So I don't want to sit there and discredit that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you can't call every sexual advance rape. It's called hitting on somebody. That's called life. I know. You know, it's... you you are a opposite member of. Uh, opposite sex member of the species, and mm -hmm. uh, somebody's trying to see if you're receptive for mating. You know? I know, and that's it's no different thing. than a fucking cat being in heat and a dog. Yeah. You and know, we talked about this on previous shows and stuff. There has been fucking rape cases where a girl tries to, or a girl tries to accuse a guy of rape for walking by her or saying hi and stuff like that. I'm just <laughs> like, what? What raises a woman to do? Oh, I know what it is. Because you just Tumblr. search for fucking bad shit on the internet and you think the whole world's like that. Like, I know people that will watch the news and someone gets, like, robbed in California and they're, like, going around their house, like, locking the doors and shit. And I'm just like, it happened in California. Chill the fuck. the fuck down. I've yeah. seen that. And it just, people are so fucking scared of everything all the time. Holy fuck. Well, hey, I don't have to lock my doors because people fucking drive into my house. Yeah, I know. If you remember that story from last week. Oh, man. He probably was like, hey, go through the drive-thru. All right, I'll get some beer. <laughs> oh, my that God. That dude's going to prison. Oh, fuck yeah. I promise you. Oh, um, I guess we can talk about this. That reminds me. I actually almost got hit by a drunk driver once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I was on my bicycle, and... um. This guy was just coming at me, and I was like, holy fuck, I'm going to get hit. He missed my back tire by, like, this much. It was really close. This much. He's holding his hand about a foot apart from each other. <laughs> yeah, for those of, you like, yeah. those of you not watching on YouTube. So I, uh, I I called the cops and everything like that, and we ended up, uh, you know, they, the cops ended up finding the car, and they're like, hey, uh, we found this car. Will you identify it? So I walk over, and I identify it and everything. Well, he gets caught. Well, I don't know where you get dynamite from. Like, I don't know if he bought it at Dollar General or what. Well, his mom found him a couple of days later trying to light a stick of dynamite in his mouth. Oh, my God. Like, you know how bad that, I felt? That's, that's his suicide way? Yeah. Like, that is actually the most badass way I've ever seen. I know. And it's just like, oh, my God. Like, I felt – he was in the raw, but I was like, holy shit, man. Dude, if you're going to fucking commit bad. suicide, that is the most badass way. That's the way I'd do it. No, actually, I'd do it in the middle of a restaurant during, like, senior citizens or kids' night. <laughs> On spaghetti night. So, like, they can't tell where the blood or the spaghetti ends. <laughs> You know, uh, the, the, what I always thought was the most badass way to take yourself out if you ever felt the need, and please don't ever say that I told you to do this, but I always said standing up on a roller coaster. Oh, my You're going God. down, you know, that that, 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 that close-passing uh, bar comes by, you just be, be beheaded. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah! Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> that's, like, that's like everyone puking on a roller coaster, you know what I mean? Like, it would just hit everyone behind you. Like everybody, and that would just <laughs> fucking suck because you would have blood and guts and everything all Gore. over. Gore, yeah. Just, oh man, that'd be horrible. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, everybody behind me. Make sure you're in the front. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, how'd this conversation start again? What were we talking about? <laughs> Who cares? 
Jeez. Who fucking cares? This I know. Is what this show's about. We just fucking get on drunken rants. Uh, yeah. What, what was the story, though? I forget. What was the first story we covered? We start, We talked about so much. I don't know. I closed it already. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, we, we talked about the guy who got his dick stuck in somebody's... Oh, giant. okay. That's... Holy fuck. We, we veered off. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I get you know uh, you guys need to start start uh, pledging ten dollars uh, an episode because when you do we're gonna start doing this show live once a month. Oh God! <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're gonna start doing the show live once a month for Patreon subscribers. Hey, segue! Oh man! <laughs> um, so if you pledge ten dollars a month, we'll do this show live once a month, and you have no idea what's gonna happen. We edit this shit a little bit, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, with the live show, you don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, we used to edit like a lot, but lately the episodes, I really don't have to edit anything. Well, it's <laughs> it's like words and all, though. I mean, some people actually pay people to go and like edit every um and yeah, I breath know. out. That's, Fuck that shit. Yeah, that's retarded. I'd never fucking do that. I grew up in the era of listening to like Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony and shit like that. And Man. you know what? That's that's the way to do it. You just go, you Man. do the show. Who gives a fuck. And uh, people generally will enjoy you for what you are yeah. rather than this polished clean bullshit man fuck that dude no 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 we ain't we we ain't royalty <laughs> we ain't royalty royalty fucking house of usher a bunch of inbred fucks yeah, I'm gonna rape you're pale you enough <laughs> gonna rape you tonight yeah <laughs> oh God, man what's wrong with you so well, all the stories you should know by now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, really. I guess that's kind of a dumb question. That's not even half of them, dude. I, I, I've seen so much shit. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about it another time. <laughs> Let's move on with the show. <laughs> uh, Casey's pain and suffering can provide endless entertainment. Oh, my God. You have no idea, Jay. I'm surprised I'm still alive. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. All right. So the first story I'm going to cover... This is going to seem normal. <laughs> After all that. All right. This is actually pretty fucking sick. This isn't even fu- Yeah, it's fucked up. But pervert who live streamed himself raping dogs, dragged naked from his home, and beaten. Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. Why would you rape a dog? Yeah. Oh, it was numerous dogs. All he... it takes is a little peanut butter and from <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can coerce them. You yeah. don't have to rape them. Put a little Captain Crunch on there. <laughs> It doesn't take much to convince. Yeah. So, surprise, surprise, it happened in China. <laughs> um, he I was, thought it would happen in Florida. Yeah, I know. He was uh, running a uh, dog brothel. A dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what... Dude, he advertised this shit online. A dog brothel? Yes, as a dog brothel. Okay? He advertised it like the local newspaper? No, he, he live-streamed it like a Twitch, I guess. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, so like, come, people come over and, like... I want the Great Dane. <laughs> well, they'd pay for it. Yeah, they would pay him money. He would oh charge God. five. Well, what do they have? Did, he, ha- did he have like different ones? Did he have like oh, a? Yeah. Did he have oh, like yeah. a dominatrix dog dressed up in like oh, vinyl? Oh, oh, probably. Yeah, he was like scratch those records, bitch. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he had like a fucking Chihuahua dressed up in a schoolgirl uniform, <laughs> yeah. or like the or like the old Taco Bell dog. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? Your big dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I don't know what, what what fucking currency do they use over in China. Uh, yen. Yen. Or, well, no, that's Japan. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, uh, it's an equivalent to five euros. That's what he would charge to beat Which the dog. Which is equivalent to uh, about like five and a half bucks or something yeah. like that. So he would charge people to uh, beat the dogs before having sex with them. So he'd be like, hey, before I have sex so with you this dog. you got to tenderize that. Yeah, banana. yeah. Basically taking a tenderize and meat hammer. <laughs> All right. So basically, he's live streaming this shit. He's breaking the law. He was like, hey, am I you know, because I'm fucking retarded. Okay, okay. So in China, it's legal to eat the dogs, but not to yeah, not, not to, to rape, rape them. them. No, that's that's when it gets bad. <laughs> I so, guess it's illegal to rape a cow here. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. well, there's an animal group over there, and they tricked him into meeting with them, saying that they were interested in his hobby. <laughs> hobby. Yeah. So they fucking hobby. They're like, hey, we want to meet with you. Where do you live? Blah blah. blah. He's like, all oh, this. So they fucking get a mob, like pitchfork style. Go to his house, drag him out in the street, butt ass naked, and beat the fuck out of him with Good. sticks. Yeah, you know what? anybody who would anybody who would injure an animal or a child deserves to be lynched. I know. And like we need to bring back a <laughs> lynching. Yeah, and we're not talking about like hunting and shit. I actually no no no, no 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 hunters do their things, and I I know why they do it. No, I'm saying straight up yeah. abusing and exactly. An that's what we're trying to make clear. 
Shoot, um, shooting a deer uh, to, to bring home food is uh, not abusing an animal. And see, that's the thing. People that don't live around here think that people still do that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> like, they, Oh, yeah. They, I know people who can't afford to eat unless it's hunting season. Yeah, I worked in a deli one time, and we literally had a guy in a wheelchair bring a basket full of dead deer and was like, can you cut this? <laughs> Did you guys do it? No, we can't. We If you work in a, uh, a public deli or uh, meat room, you cannot uh, cut anything without a USD approved stamp. Okay, I can see that. All right. so It's not hard to do it yourself, though. Yeah, I know, and, uh, and that's the thing. Um, and, well, what happened is after they all beat the shit out of him, the cops finally came, they took him to the hospital, and what happened was is he cannot be charged. Why not? He's getting off scot-free. Because uh, the dogs were stray. They weren't anybody's. So that's what? why he's not getting charged. Yeah, that's the fucked Chinese up part. Chinese laws, man. Yeah, Chinese laws. I'm surprised there's an animal group in China. <laughs> like, I thought they fucking just killed anything. They were like, fuck this. Well, they're not savages. They're Chinese. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's true. You know what? I, I think I feel differently than you because I have a lot of... Uh, I have uh, working relationships with a lot of Chinese people. Like uh, for those of you who don't know, I run a run a website called Theaterverse dot com, and I get I get products and things to review and things like that. A lot of times, I'm dealing directly with Chinese people, mm-hmm. and they're very nice people. They're oh, yeah. they're incredibly nice. They're way nicer than most of their American counterparts. To be perfectly honest, oh, with fucking you. Americans are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and, They'll uh, rip you. <laughs> Shenzhen, China, makes everything. Like literally everything's made in Shenzhen, China. It's like the only part of China that's really got like a, almost like a capitalist system, mm. and they make everything. It's actually kind of like a, this weird wild west system over there. Huh. The only part in China with a capitalist system that makes things. That's weird. Well, <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> but, I mean, I might be talking out of my ass, and some economist might come back later on and say I'm fucking full of shit. I but, doubt any economist uh, watch this. <laughs> yeah, nobody smart watches this shit. Yeah, no, Sorry, no. folks. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so I talked to all of these Chinese women. You know what, what's funny is they all pick American names to talk to you because you'd not be able to pronounce their name. And for some reason, like a super common first name that they pick is Cherry. I don't what? know why. Like instead of like. They're not Sarah. strippers. Uh, yeah, Cherry. Yeah, they, I, like I've known tons of cherries. And like they pick their own name. You know. <laughs> I guess Chinese women like cherries? I don't know. Uh, I actually know one who who's... Is that because theirs got popped at three years old? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, man. It's Trump's yeah. America. You can yeah. say that shit now. Damn fucking right. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness. Yeah, so... Uh... That's basically all that for that story. Yeah, he's getting off scot free. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I'm sitting here being the uh, the social justice warrior or whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't like using that term because it's a bunch of alt right jackasses who say that kind of crap. Uh, <laughs> people who read Brett Bart or Brett Bart or whatever the hell it is news. Well, social justice warrior like used to be like somewhat decent, but now it's just. Well, no, it's it's just a way people. of saying people yeah, exactly. who like uh, you know who take equality to to an extreme. But there's the thing: anytime someone makes a point where you get where you're in fear of them making a difference, you label them. That's how it works. Well, that's where conspiracy theories came from. They're like, oh shit, they're on to us. We better make fun of them. <laughs> like that's how it works. Well, I mean, like, th- there's a big problem in this country right now called the alt right, and. Um, you know, like you'll hear about about some of these fucking people, and uh, like uh, some of them, some of them label themselves as men going their own way, and they basically believe that uh, uh, all women are fucking evil succubuses. He's um, damn close to that. Um, <laughs> where does it get crazy? Yeah, but these people. <laughs> where does it get crazy? <laughs> these people believe that uh, having sex with a woman is just like a, a, undermining yourself as a man. I mean, they're nuts. Wait, and, what? Uh, yeah, sex is great. Well, <laughs> like, like I said, these are the type of people who read like Brie Bart News, and uh, I, I mean, like, there's this, this, it's, it's an echo chamber yet again. Like yep. I always tell you, people, yep. I've said this shit tons of times. You, you can find a group of people who believe the same bullshit you do, and uh, just have it reflected back upon themselves so much that it actually makes sense to them. I know, and like I was saying, like one time, where you, the world is a lot better than it was, man. Yeah, like yeah. me, me and Jason were talking about this one night about medieval. Like shit. That Jason back there. Yeah. Um, we were talking about how back in the day they would just kill people for fun 
like by the thousands mm -hmm. and just for fun and they would do it in public like, there was this one thing where they they cut your uh your belly open pull a little bit of your intestine out and nail it to a stick okay awesome a huge pole in the ground i All bet right? you that's a hell of a weight loss bro yeah man. and then they were uh, i can't talk would release dogs on you so basically you have to run from these dogs so you either die by having a dog eat you or by running until your intestines and the rest of your insides fall out. Like, we don't do that anymore. And I fucking thank God. Well, these people didn't have movies, so, yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, like, there's some fucked up shit that happened back then. Like, you weren't, there was so much prejudice. You weren't allowed to do anything unless the king said so. And it's just like. Hell, king, nothing. It was even yeah. the lord of your land. Yeah. He used to come and fuck you. Like, remember Braveheart? That shit was real. I forget. There's actually a term for it. But you got married under the, the lord or the king. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, I'm fucking your wife on your marriage, like your wedding night. <laughs> like, it, it's just like, oh, man. And now you just do that on Craigslist, but whatever. <laughs> just do it. Oh, man. It's just not so bad anymore, guys. Everyone just go out and hug each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel kind of dirty. Let's just hug it out. Yeah, let's just hug it out. Hug it out. Just Hopefully, it everybody out. survived their Thanksgiving ordeals last week. Yeah. Hopefully, um, everybody's still in the will, and nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody's not like, refusing to speak to their uncle. Yeah, the the 90 year old racist one. Yeah, we all we all got that racist relative who grew up in a different time, and like still refers to black people as boy. <laughs> yeah, <I> know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you, you, you know, them colored folk. Yeah, that's like uh, the one episode of Family Guy where Peter Schmidt's wife left him or something like that, and they take him out to the bar. And there's just some random black guy standing there, and he's like, hey, boy, I'll take another drink. And everyone's like, <gasps> <laughs> it's like, it's not like that anymore, buddy. Like, you know, yeah, geez. it's 2016, regardless yeah. who's in the presidency or who... Who who's running what? You uh, you still shouldn't shouldn't be that way. Yeah, just don't be a dick. And don't. I, I mean, if you're going to be upset about <laughs> anything, you don't have to be upset at a race. Be upset about fucking hood culture. And I've seen enough people of all different colors and creeds who who fall into hood culture. Yeah. And I'm telling you, uh, this is where this is where the problem is. Everybody uh, listens to like the fucking rap songs that objectify this shit. And they basically sit here and glorify the drugs, the violence, the uh, the, the scummy lifestyle. Yeah, I was just listening to a song the other day about it. this guy's bragging his uh, girlfriend's bow legged. I'm like, that's cool. That doesn't quite fall under what I'm talking about, but okay. No, the lifestyle of just dirty, messy, drugs, alcohol, oh, yeah, sluttiness. Yeah. Like, it has everything. I, to I do mean, with people, it. Fucking... people glorify that. You know, know, that's the problem with the world today. It's not about a color, it's about a culture. I know. Like, look at look at my, my, Miley Cyrus, man. She was so pissed off yeah. about the election. There's a part of her show dedicated where she goes out in the crowd and you can grab her vagina. Yeah. Like it's like I mean, and, and that's okay, <laughs> but it, it's like don't be a don't say one thing, and that's what I'm thinking. I think people get caught up just trying to be such a good person, they forget they're not. <laughs> well, well, I mean, there's other people you know that just don't even try to be a good person. Like I'm going to tell you a story. Somebody I know uh, got a coworker, and uh, like I said before, and you've probably heard by now, we live in a rural community. We're not a very big place here. We're a, a suburban at best and really it's probably a little more backwood mm -hmm. than yeah. that um that's pretty backwood <laughs> but uh we have a, a local hospital and uh this person i know was, was working there and then uh, they got a new person who came from the city uh, came from philadelphia originally moved up into our area uh the closest city near here and then that person got a job in the rural hospital so okay uh this person I know is training this lady and she says she's late thirties, early forties, something like that. And she has teenage kids, uh, because of course she does. <laughs> and, uh, she, she says, she says to the friend of mine, I know, uh, yeah, these kids of mine, man, I don't know what to do about them. They, they, they either need to need to run the streets or they need to hit the books. They can't do both. I'm like, why would you give them a fucking choice? <laughs> Why would you I'm give serious. them an option? Why would you give them a fucking choice? And like, and, and that's the kind of shit that, that that's failing these people. These inner city people are failing because nobody's busting their ass and telling them, "UK, you, you need to hike your fucking pants up. You need to stop acting like a goddamn thug and yeah. go go get a job and learn how to make something to yourself." And I'm talking, I'm not talking just about black people. I know, I've I seen know. enough white ghetto oh, trash out there to do the uh, same fucking thing. We have it out here. It's fucking. It's. So I'm like, that is not how you act. 
If you want to make something of yourself, you need to go out and work hard to achieve it. I know. It's Plain like, and simple. And it'll like, oh, you should. Or get a, t- get a fucking internet show and get yeah. people to watch it. Well, you shouldn't judge people and shit like that. Stop Fuck dressing. that. You do something stupid. Yeah. I'm judging you stop, for being stupid. Stop dressing like a piece of shit. When you go for a job interview, you don't dress like a fool. So why would you dress like a fool when everyone else can see you? Just don't be a retard. Just don't be a water it's wing. Okay. It's okay <laughs> to wear and reach yeah. <laughs> it's okay to express yourself, but you know, you, there's a time and a place for it. And and that's the thing. There's just no modesty anymore. And you know what? I I, I said that to someone the other day, and they're like, "You're just a traditionalist. You want everything the same and stuff like that." I'm like, I don't want everything the same. I just want everyone to keep a fucking level on their head. Everything is so far out there. You remember when like <laughs> to to like find dirty stuff. You, you used to have to, like, sneak in and get, like, old VHS tapes of, like, old RoboCop movies. And, yeah, that's probably when you didn't think I was going with that. But, no, like, you no I to... did not. <laughs> I was thinking about when I used to dumpster dive for dirty magazines yeah. as a kid. <laughs> and, and, like, it's not that you were embarrassed about it, but you didn't let people know. Now it's like you just don't care. Or my, my dad had the box of porn. It was, yeah. just, it, it was legendary amongst and, like, my friends. Everything was, like, hidden, but now nothing is. Like, um... When I, every um, well, time I look for stories, I, I, I search through Reddit and shit like that. I find some crazy shit on Reddit of just people just not giving a fuck. There's a cleavage well, some Reddit. Of, some of that I don't. <laughs> like, of just women doing cleavage and they, their faces in it. Some, some of that I support <laughs> to some extent. Uh, some of that doesn't bother me because I feel like we as a culture, the United States in particular, ha- has demonized sex. Oh, yeah. And demonized alcohol and demonized drugs mm-hmm. to the point where that's people, why they do it. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and like we 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 are so backwards when it comes to how we handle sex. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got a, a bunch of conservatives out there and other people. Uh, I'm not talking conservatives politically. I'm talking just in general uh, who are out there who who just literally are scared of sex they're scared of people expressing sexuality and mm-hmm. i think that is is absolutely a repressive and wrong way to be and uh, and that's the thing like i i i mean hell i'm guilty of it yeah i'm i'm the same way i i think like a lot of countries like europe mexico a lot of the stuff like did you ever see like mexico's weather girls Holy fuck! Well, uh, <laughs> like, even, even that's holy, not what I'm talking about. No, but they like show cleavage shit. Yeah, they don't, uh, and they don't show that here because what? it's like demonized. But the, but what I, what I was saying was, is right? I don't think we're doing it right. Like we're just getting nasty. Uh, other countries like Europe and stuff like that. It's very like, well, yeah, sexuality is very open to them, and it always has. been. Yeah, but it's not like like France and Italy. They 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 have been. They're much more mature about it than yeah, we are. Yeah, that's the best way to put it, mature about it. And you know what? We're a very very young nation. We're almost mm. in our teenage years. Yeah. And it's almost like we're acting like teenagers. We're rebelling against mommy and daddy, yeah. you know? Like, uh, sex was bad, and now all of a sudden, like, we're starting to learn about it. So we're going fucking ape shit with it. And eventually, I think maybe we will settle down as a culture. I know. And, and that's the thing, like... I wasn't scared about sex when I was told that what, what happens when, you know, this could happen, this could happen. I remember they were like, you have kids and stuff like that. And I, I remember looking down, I'm like, I can create a human with this thing? <laughs> like, it's like, oh. man, I thought it was just for standing in, a, in, in the mirror and helicopter. And, yeah. Helicopter, helicopter, I like, helicopter. I, like, I, I thought it was just like for peeing on the urinal cake and see if you can get it in the center the whole time when you're you right, your, writing your name in the snow. Yeah, I was like, wait, I could create life? <laughs> it's like the ultimate petri dish. <laughs> or you know, you can you can take the other approach and blow your load on some chick's face. Yeah. Oh god, it's the greatest thing in the world. I remember a couple <laughs> a couple of weeks ago that uh that British chick who used that shit as a, a facial. <laughs> oh man, God bless her. God bless her. <laughs> uh, she was she was pretty good looking. There was there was definitely some effects there. I don't yeah. know if it was from the semen. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I have no clue. I have no clue, but, you know, like I said, I'd throw it in her. And if it works, it works. She did have clear skin. Like, she did. She did. She <laughs> did. It might be the vegan diet. Oh, she was vegan, too. Yeah, she Oh, was I vegan. forgot about that. Although she had no problem eating babies. <laughs> she, she ate human babies. <laughs> That's my like little, what I... My little swimmer boys. That's like when a fat chick's like, I'm having a kid. I'm like, really? What seasoning are you putting on it? <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck. I know. Oh, man, the feminists. They're, they're, they're going to come after me. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, uh, indeed. <laughs> you got anything else for us, Jay? Oh, I got tons of shit. What do you want to talk about? Hey, did you ever see that show 90 Day Fiance? 
I've never heard of it. Oh my god, it is the But looking by that prize winner, I'm in for a ride. Yeah, all, all this conversation. I wasn't going to talk about this today, but all this all this shit we're talking about today makes me makes me think of it. I watched this show, it's a reality TV show called 90 Day Fiance. And uh, like this guy, uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of him. Uh I can find plenty of pictures of her, but like Is this like uh, the new Honey Boo Boo or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, where the hell I got? I gotta find a picture for those of us, those of you on you YouTube. Is it a challenge? Yeah, there they are. Okay, so look at this guy. This guy comes from uh, Tunisia, I want to believe. Tunisia? What's Tunisia? The fuck? Yeah, sounds uh, like a foot cream. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and, and and he he got a, like a green card marriage with this just. I don't want to sound insensitive here, but That's this, okay. this woman's fuck a it. wildebeest. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to say it. This, this woman is a fucking wildebeest. Like, she's it looks just, like you based her for Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> she's just... She, she's just, God-awful. She's just fat. She's just god-awful. She's just fat, and she's 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 not attractive. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, she she's much older than he is. God, she has, like, Popeye arms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like look <laughs> at her. <laughs> uh, and she's just... She's just unattractive. I mean, here's the Muhammad guy. I mean, like he's much younger than her. Really? He's in shape. His name's Muhammad. Yeah, his name's Muhammad. He's he's in shape, and um, I, I'm not saying that's the only thing that matters and shit. But he's, he's it is. He's <laughs> in, in a scale of one to ten, she's about a one, and he's about at least a good seven, probably. I know. It, like it, uh, he's out of. He's so far out of her league. And that's why they do that's why they do this shit. And it's like all you see in the media is like you shouldn't judge people by well, their bodies and shit. It's like stop making are, bullshit it, like this. Well, you all out there are judging me by my fucking beard and fed man tits, but whatever. <laughs> but I mean this I, I mean I can tell you she's fat cuz I'm right there alongside of her. I'm I'm not I'm not fucking far off. But I mean she she like married this guy, brought him into the country and uh like I watched the show, and, and it's definitely got the bias on the show that that she's uh, okay, and he's just an evil, horrible bastard. Oh, of course. And, and I mean, he's doing some all pretty, men are evil. He's pretty doing some pretty scumbaggy things. Like he takes vacations and shit by himself uh, to go to, to, I go, would to too. go fuck some chick in Florida is what he's doing. I would too. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I mean, and she's she's just like. But she's so mentally unbalanced, and they're not even addressing it. Of course it. she is. Like, uh, like he, oh, she, this, this, like in the interview at one point, she says, <laughs> "I wish I, I wish I prepared for this because I didn't know I was going to talk about it." <laughs> but <laughs> in in, in, in this, uh, in this, in this video, she's like in this interview, and she's talking, and she said, "He accuses me of smelling bad," and he goes, "You do." <laughs> He's like, "Okay, you do fucking smell bad." And that's the thing, like, like he didn't know he was getting into. He probably like held it. His dick and just plow, <laughs> held his nose just plowed into her. Like, just, I gotta get that green card, man. Oh, but, dude, this is what happens when you live in a society where the woman's always right. Uh, yeah. And I got fucking news for you. You ain't always right. I mean, right. I mean he's a piece <laughs> of shit, too. But, like, he wouldn't even kiss her on a wedding day because his religion didn't allow it. He couldn't fucking hold his nose long enough. Like, he said she smells. And, and she's got that vagina and, stink. And here's the thing. People are probably like, oh, I feel so bad for her. It's a fucking reality show. They're setting them up. Uh, it's just, uh, like, I mean, you know, he's and, a scumbag, sure. But, she, like, she's just, like, like she brought him here under these false pretenses. Like, they, they live in Ohio. Oh, it, it's they're, cold. Yeah. It's shitty. It, it like like live in poverty in this shitty house, and uh, it's just they're like, Nancy Grace in it. <laughs> like <laughs> you take a shitty situation and you feed off of it. They're like little fucking leeches, you know. And, and like I don't know. It, I say that, and then we talk about a guy fucking dogs and shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, it's on TLC. It Sundays at nine is when it's on. Doesn't TLC mean the Learning Channel? Yeah. What the fuck? We got fucking here comes Honey Boo Boo. What the and fuck are we? However many from kids this? that this this jackass squeezed out, and, and like, and people wonder why everyone thinks that the world is such a fucked up place. It's because that's all we see. <coughs> it's like burning your fucking brain every day. Well, I, I mean, you know, oh, I, I kind of feel sorry for this dude. Like, I know, I know that we're supposed to feel bad for the woman, and, and of course I do. It feels bad. I feel bad that like he's going out and fucking like going to Florida and shit. I don't. But, <laughs> like I said, she she has mental issues. She literally he he said that she literally sat on her floor and uh, screamed in front of her kids. You know, uh, I want my sex tonight. 
Oh, and that's a quote. God. I want my sex tonight. Sex isn't a cookie, okay? <laughs> when a I kid mean, wants a cookie, that's what he says. You I mean, fuck. this this dude must have like a nine foot dick. Oh, probably, she's like, dude. She's like sitting on the floor. And she's like, I need that dick inside me today. Dude, when you she doesn't care who hears. Yeah, dude, when you act like that, <laughs> that dick ain't big. That dick walked out of his pants like Ricky Martin video and was like, and fucking just padiddled her all night. I mean, she you don't act like that for no reason i mean she's just addicted to that man's dick oh man i just ugh. and this is i, I, just, I don't know I, I, maybe i'm just a fucking horrible person no I, gotta, I dude I, i'm just trying not to go on like right here because this is fucking bullshit I, this stuff makes me sick dude it's they get pissed at each other like if you ever watch the show they get pissed at each other they like threaten divorce and shit and they've only been together for like six months which makes it even worse like, I can tell you this much. I don't sit here and, uh, you know, uh, my wife and I fight sometimes because we're normal human beings who have disagreements no. about things. But we didn't fight like that within six months where we're talking about divorcing. This guy would rather get shipped back on a I fucking s- cardboard box to Tunisia well, than be smells. with this woman for any longer. She fucking smells. Like, what do you expect, dude? I don't like, dude, I don't even, I don't even like smelling myself. <laughs> like, uh, and I'm not fat shaming here. It's just a simple I matter am. of you are That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. I'm not even trying to fat shame here. I'm really not. It's just a matter of you have to accept what's at your station or you need to work harder. Yeah, I just... Like, my is, wife looks better than me, so I try I know, to I try works, to up my game some days. Yeah, and I remember telling you that. Like, you know... Oh, you remember telling me my wife's better looking than no, me. Thanks. No, fuck Thanks, you. dick. <laughs> no, your wife's been, you know, struggling with her weight her whole time, and she is fucking working her ass off, like, bad Literally. crazy. Like, running, like, fucking 26 miles a day or some shit. I'm like, what? Not quite that far, <laughs> You know what I mean. She lost 80 pounds, you know? Yeah. That's, that's a hell... That, and I, I remember that, asking you one day, I was like, Jay, is, Amanda looks really, really thin. He's like, yeah, she's been working on it. And I was like, I can she fucking tell. Ass. And that's what, and that's what, what the, the fuck. And and here's the thing: I don't feel bad about fat shaming women. I really don't care because what well, it's I, one thing if you have a disease because that does happen. Yeah, and, and of course. But the thing is, is you know, women have body types. I see so many women. I only like tall guys. I only like muscular guys. And it's like if you have a preference, I'm going to too. Okay, you guys want all we can write. I see. Here we go. I'm talking about feminism. Hey, there, <laughs> I'm there, getting fired up. Hey, there, there's a man who likes you for whoever you are. You I need know. to find that person and, and, because you know the fact that the matter is, if you got a guy that, that that's just gonna go out and fucking go go take vacations to go fuck some chick in Florida and doesn't care about you, don't be with that person. Yeah. And Why would you bring him into the country, you dumb fuck? Yeah, and it's usually the women like this that are like, oh. Fuck men, you know, blah blah. He should like me for who I am. But I mean, she sat on her living room floor in front of her children and screamed, "I want my sex tonight." I know. And then they're like, and then they're like, "Oh, what was me? Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna use the, you know, the biggest weapon a woman has is her tears. Actually, that's bullshit. It's her vagina. But anyways, <laughs> I just, I just don't care anymore. I, I'm just, you know, I well, see. Well, we all do the, call the show openly hostile that, opinions, I know, so you know. I know. I just. All it is is every – and it's like TV like this. They always make the man look crazy. It's always the woman can never do anything wrong. I see it on every fucking sitcom all the time. Women – women, and it's just like, you know, I'm just fucking sick of it. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know. He, This guy's worried about getting deported from the U.S., but he's almost like wants to just – deal with it fuck it i don't care anymore fuck this crazy bitch she sits on the floor and screams in front of her kids i want my sex oh it's so ridiculous uh, i just uh all then, right the, moving on, <laughs> <laughs> moving I know, on. I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna get so much hate for this fucking story uh, i don't care whatever <laughs> all right so in moscow they're apparently eating rats <laughs> uh yeah they they have this thing called the river rat in my in, in russia uh, they're not really a rat. They kind of look uh-huh. like a. They kind of look like a beaver or something. I don't, that's a really small picture. I don't know if I can get a better picture of it. Uh, yeah, Russia eating beaver, eh, man. Yeah, well, uh, apparently, yeah. There we go. Let's let's blow that fact. Lovely beaver room. there. Thank you. I just had it stuffed last Tuesday. Uh, oh, that's a sausage. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, man! They could. Was that? Was that the there rat sausage? Yeah, I guess so. That's that's what it looks like right oh there. Oh, my God. It kind of looks like a beaver or something. It's just got a weird... Well, that's a nice restaurant, though. Actually. Yeah, I mean, there's like gourmet <laughs> shit. Look at this stuff. Like a rodent burger and shit. Holy fuck, dude. They don't fuck around, dude. Yeah, yeah, they don't play. It looks better than anything I've made in my life. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, the, the foodie craze in Moscow is like this river rat. It, it's called a... It's a nutria, I guess. And they call it a river rat. But uh, it, it's a, like gourmet. 
It's supposed to taste sort of like uh, somewhere like turkey. It's not. It's a very mild flavor. No, really. So uh, maybe that makes sense. Probably why they did sausage, a lot of seasoning and everything to spice it mm-hmm. up a little bit. Well, they make burgers too, and uh, they say it's, it's somewhere between turkey and pork, I guess. Hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, they're they're so eating, you're pork and the beaver. Yeah, they're <laughs> the hipsters are eating rats now. Oh, the Russian God. hipsters are eating R- rats. Russian. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Russian hip. Russians are crazy, man. And I don't mean that a bad way. I do mean a bad way, but they're fucking nuts, man. And now they have hipsters. Oh God. Everywhere uh, has hipsters. Uh, you call me a hipster. Oh, uh, man. I don't think I ever called you a hipster, did you I? You call me a hipster at least once a week. Do I? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I don't think so, Tim. It's, it's on camera. <laughs> I swear to you. It's been oh, really? it's been said. I don't think you're a hipster. I just think you... I know. I think you like them. I just think my you, funny little hat. <laughs> I think you dressed like them before they got fake. Like, because you, you always Yeah, have. my flannel and my funny little hats. I've been you wearing them always, forever. You've dressed like this your whole life. And like we were talking about the one episode where you wore flannels your whole life and now you don't anymore because they're so expensive. <laughs> I know. I have a couple. <laughs> yeah, like you swear. I used to have a shitload of them. Yeah, because they were cheap and I was stuff. like, my name is Earl. <laughs> yeah, and now it's like, you don't wear them anymore because why the fuck would you they're so expensive oh man fucking craziness you betcha you got anything else oh yeah i have one more thing all right um (laughs) this is just fucking crazy (laughs) like we were talking about you know people not taking the blame for things and just you know oh man science teacher fired for stroking his balloon in class (laughs) oh man (laughs) Do, do we mean this as a euphemism? No. <laughs> he literally stroked a balloon. Yeah, it was for science. And this is a problem. <laughs> oh, just, it gets good. Okay. <laughs> it gets good. It happened in the Bronx. <laughs> His of name course. is Barry Selman. Barry Selman? Yeah. Like salmon? He, yeah. He, was, uh, he put a balloon to his crotch and jerked it off to demonstrate static electricity. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is what we're upset about? <laughs> uh, the bad thing, though, it was to his second grade. <laughs> okay. All right. But it gets weirder. Oh, God. Really? I don't know why you would say this to second grade kids, but when he was doing it, he said, This is for your daughters. <laughs> I don't. Like, <laughs> Does this guy live down the street? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. So. Yeah, he's going on the registry. Yeah. And, and, the whole re- and he did it and like he didn't get caught for like four months because no one said anything. The reason they caught him was because uh, kids started, girls and boys started taking pencils and rollers, going through the hallway, <laughs> you know, <laughs> holding them up. Kids to will kid. do that just fine on their own. You don't need to fucking show them how. For four months though, he didn't get caught. So he, he was working for four months after this even happened. Oh my god! Can you imagine just the school? Every kids run around like. Imagine like being a visitor. You're like, what? What is going on in this place? <laughs> so, um, those motherfuckers. I don't know which one's appropriate. I'm just saying <laughs> a bunch of them. I know. So then after that, he finally gets fired and everything like that. So he, you think he'd be like, oh, okay. Well, he. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, he doesn't think it's his fault. He, the principal's the one that fired him. She was like, you know, you're firing. He goes, uh, he basically, the quote is, suck uh, my dick. <laughs> he said that right to her. And then... Um, hey, point, points for directness. Yeah, when they interviewed him, his statement was, uh, Barry says firing him is overreacting. <laughs> I mean, if it was a group of high school kids, I agree. Yeah, but... If it's... <laughs> If fucking second graders, yeah, you're kind of. What does that school. mean? This is for your daughters. <laughs> like, I don't know. What? I could see if it was for like a a twelfth grade class because you know they would go to college and probably get pregnant. But... Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh man, my God, I just uh, this is for your daughter. Can we get that on a T-shirt? <laughs> we gotta start making merchandise. I know this is for your daughters. Oh god! All right. <laughs> Remember, we're in a band again. That's what I'm gonna name this. Oh for- <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that's basically all I have. Basically. All right. Well, let's get out of here before we get this any weirder. Than it's already <laughs> yeah, been. <I> know. <laughs> all right, everybody. This has been openly hostile opinions. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Make sure you uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that little bell. It'll notify you when uh, we upload new videos. And uh, we love y'all. Thank uh, thank you for supporting us. Mm-hmm. 
And we will see you next week. Have a good night. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.